Welcome to the kingdom of the Golden Larches. This kingdom is only ruled by the seasons and in autumn you are invited to the Great Golden Festival. Everyone is welcome and may enjoy the Golden Larches. When it is getting colder, the needles of the larches change color and appear in yellow, gold and orange. After this last act, they let themselves fall to become part of Mother Earth. In the first part of this video, let's drive through the kingdom to see where the most beautiful golden larches are. Afterwards, we will go on a beautiful hike together, which has a few nice surprises in store for you. And now, enter the kingdom of the golden larches. Oh, so warm and cozy, but outside. We expect snow tomorrow. Unfortunately, there was no snow overnight, but we are in good spirits and looking forward to the hike. Oh, it is the early morning at the Ospizio Bernino. It looked so foggy when I looked out of the window and I hoped that uh, it will clear up a little bit and look. Yeah, for me it's, it's uh, quite of clearing up. <laughs> yeah, but maybe later we see more. Huh? Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> you ready? Huh? <laughs> Dear Swissies and Switzerland lovers, after exploring the area a little bit to see where the Golden Larches are and after a wonderful night at the Ospizio Bernina, we are so, so, so ready for a great hike. We hike down now from Lago Bianco uh, to Mortarach in about three and, or three and a half hours. Let's go! Yeah, it is still foggy a little bit, but I checked the weather app and they announced Less clouds. Durasta, are you tired? Less clouds and more blue sky. Yeah, this is one of probably many, many, many trains we will see during our hike. Yeah, going down to Sankt Moritz or Sameden. You know, the main season is over. Yeah. And almost everything is uh, closed. Yeah, the hotel is closed. And um, yeah, that's why there are so less people here. And Rasta can run free. Yeah, like a young puppy. <laughs> Whee! It 
It is about four degrees. Yeah, perfect temperature for Rasta. Yeah, he feels so alive when it is colder. Very soon, all this water will be frozen. Yeah. Sometimes the log of Bianco, the one behind, is frozen too. And some brave people are doing ice skating on it. Yeah, but it's not allowed <laughs> officially. But they do it, yeah. And some of them go diving. <laughs> I told you, we will see many trains today. <laughs> Is this the Berlin Express? I don't know. Or maybe it's just uh, the local train. Now it comes on this side. Come on, for the It's in the curve. Yeah. And after curve. Yeah, you can see it here. No, it's not the Benina Express, it's the local train. Yeah, Benina Express is a very uh, famous train ride with uh, panorama windows, you know, very famous in Switzerland. It's uh, similar to the Glacier Express. You maybe ask, what kind of sign is this? Not the white one, <laughs> the white red one. It means that you are still on the hiking path. And the red white means that it's the uh, Alpine hiking path. Yeah, there are also uh, yellow whites, and these are also for Sandale. Huh? And sometimes after some huge rainfall, you have to cross some creeks like this. So it's uh, highly recommended that you have waterproof shoes. Huh? You maybe ask what these ugly things are. These are against snow. Imagine in winter, there's one meter, two meters, <laughs> three meters of snow. And this is the connection from Switzerland to Italy. And so they just um, uh, take care that the snow is not falling on the railway. Huh? So bizarre. Uh, I forgot to tell you about another sign, a blue-white sign. This is the mountain sign spot for hikers. And when you see a blue-white, so you have to expect that you uh, need maybe to climb or uh, that there is no hiking path. So be aware. Huh? So beginners is, is yellow-white and uh, Volkschitteni is red-white and blue-white is for experts. Huh? Rasta feels so totally happy. Yeah, and we don't have to be aware of other dogs and other cats and camels and <laughs> yeah, it's so entspannt. It's so, so relaxing. Yeah, we're still waiting for blue sky, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's really so relaxing. So I was telling you about the ice on Lago Bianco and that it is forbidden. Well, it is not forbidden, but it is on your own responsibility. Yeah, if you fall, you fall by your own and you cannot blame on someone else. And I will try to show you this place when it is really, really winterly. Well, when the lake is frozen, I hope it will freeze and everything is white around us. You maybe recognized one thing. There is no tree here. And the reason is the altitude. We are on about 2,240 meters above sea level. And uh, this is above the tree border. Yeah, the tree border is in on about 2,000 meters. It's getting higher 
because uh, the weather is getting warmer. But uh, yeah, that's the reason why there are no trees here. But we will hike down to the trees. Yeah, promise. Ah, oh, such a happy dog. It's such a, a happiness to watch him so happy. Ooh, I can see blue sky over there and the silhouette of a mountain. Wow, look at the mountain over there. Oh, it's a shame. It looks like a, a volcano. A little bit, huh? Look, there is another train and a biker. Wow, it's the first person we see today. <laughs> yeah. You saw the yellow or the golden larches at the beginning in the video while we were driving. And these larches are already done. The reason is, I mean, they had probably many um, nights with temperatures below uh, zero degrees. And then they just think, oh, okay, <laughs> ah, it's time to let, to let it go. Yeah, that's why the larches on a higher altitude are faster than the ones in the valleys. This is a baby, a baby golden larch. And I show you about the needles. Fish. Yeah. And in winter they just let it go and then there are only bare trees. Yeah, so it's just they don't know say regal. Don't pee on it. It's a baby. You know what I love most? The combination of golden larches and snow-covered mountains. This is simply the best. Rasta, you will lose the race. The good boy. Adventure dog. Huh? Rasta is killing creeks. This is the gondola going up to a place called Diavolezza. They start the ski season at the end of October. Yeah, yeah they have less snow, but they will try to open it. Yeah. I think it is one of the first ski areas which opens in winter. Wow, I mean, this is crazy nice, right? and here you can see the, the cable car station of uh, Diavolezza.
it is moody again and I love it. <laughs> Ah, it is a mix between uh, very moody, some clouds and then blue sky again and some lights in the larches. Ah, super. It's like a movie with different scenes. I mean, this is really a dog-friendly hike. I'm quite sure that uh, there are cows here in summer, but in autumn, yeah, the dogs just can run free. Super nice. Look, this is a large, which just lost all the needles. Looks like a, a dead tree then. So that's why all the people uh, want to watch the golden larches because without needles nah. You know what I love on hikes, which I don't know? That I can have surprises like this. Ah, oh, look at them all. The nice waterfall. Whee! Oh, crazy schön. Wow. Oh, it's wonderful. Look, this side. Oh, viewpoint! Wee! Look at all! How beautiful! Oh, nice! Ah, uh, this hike is full with viewpoints right now. Yeah, you can watch the waterfall from me. Oh, look at them all. Oh, wow. Super nice, right? Super nice.
That was probably the last train for today. But it's not a promise. After about four and a half hours, we finally arrived at the train station Mortaraj, where we take the train back to our Ospizio at the Bernina Pass. Ah, so sorry, another train. <laughs> our train up to Bernina Pass. After another night in the Bernina Hospice, we left the Kingdom of the Golden Larges the next day. We bow our heads as we should and hope that you enjoyed this trip. With a wintry greeting, we say goodbye with a few pictures of the Albulopos. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>